When a person learns that they have cancer, it's overwhelming. Their life changes. I volunteer because of cancer in my own family. My brother had cancer, and I just want to give back what I saw done for members in my own family. SOMC Cancer Center has some advantages that I think you won't find other places. It's all here under one roof. The patients come in and out with smiles on their face. It's being done right here in our own little town of Portsmouth. The SOMC Cancer Center. Very good things are happening here. Like that, 
happen around the city, and so uh, I think Crime Watch might be a, a good answer for that. Uh, obviously, you know, the police cannot be everywhere at, at all times, and uh, so we need extra eyes and, and people that are alert what's going on around the community. So I would, I would like to endorse, and uh, we, we may may try to do something, uh, trying to try to get the word out to to people to be more actively involved in the community. And that's all I have. He did inform me that there was an interested buyer uh, for Mills Pride. Again, a lot of details needed to be worked out. Uh, he said couldn't guarantee that things was going to happen, but uh, uh, he did. You know, the reason that I called was because there was a lot of rumor circulating, and, and I had some pretty good information that they had permits and uh, had plans to demo the buildings. And uh, so that was the reason for my call. And he, he told me that uh, if, if they go long enough without selling the property, that probably will happen because, uh, you know, according to the Ohio uh, Development Commission, they, they, their buildings are not structured in a way that one company could buy them all. Again, I think the present buyer is looking at trying to sell the buildings either individually or try to get businesses to come in, you know, I don't know whether we would call it an industrial park, but you know, it could house several, several businesses. And I think that's probably the, the idea of the buyer. But uh, they, they said that it would cost, uh, and again, now this is the Ohio, and I, I did I get these figures from ASCO, approximately $100,000 a month just to maintain those buildings if they were empty with, uh, with taxes, Utilities, uh, protection, you know, police protector, guard, guard protection, and, and so on. So uh, you know, there's a, a degree of maintenance that has to go along with that. So he said they obviously will not wait for a long period of time before they can start that process. If we can't sell the properties, then uh, you know, we may may see that happen. But, you know, we don't want to. to employ Chi Chi Hertenstein as a part-time dispatcher in the police department. Uh, she will be working on call as needed. Cash balance, beginning cash balance is $421,553.82. Transfer for the new emergency siren is $3,500. Bills this council is $15,684.91 for a cash balance of $402,368.91. Sewer rates to take effect October 1st, 2011. First, the zero to 4,000 gallons to be charged at 734 per thousand gallons. A minimum bill for all users consuming 4,000 gallons per quarter or less shall be issued in the amount of 2936 per quarter. For customer, over 4,000 gallons to be charged at 495 per thousand gallons. Commercial sewer rates to take effect October 1st, 2011. First zero to four thousand gallons to be charged at seven thirty four per thousand gallons. A, min a minimum bill for all users consuming four thousand gallons per quarter or less shall be issued in the amount of twenty nine thirty six per quarter per customer. Over four thousand gallons to be charged at four ninety five per thousand gallons with additional twenty five thousand twenty five cents per thousand gallon surcharge. The residential sewerage to take effect January first, two thousand and twelve. First at zero to four thousand gallons to be charged at nine eighteen per thousand gallons. A minimum bill for all consumers consuming four thousand gallons per quarter or less shall be issued in the amount of thirty six twenty two per quarter per customer. 
total of 4,000 gallons to be charged at 495 per thousand gallons. Commercial sewer rates to take effect January 1, 2012. First, zero to 4,000 gallons to be charged at 918 per thousand gallons. A minimum bill for all users consuming 4,000 gallons per quarter or less shall be issued in the amount of 36 20 per quarter per customer. Total 4,000 4, gallons to be charged at 495 per thousand gallons with an additional 25 cents per thousand gallon surcharge. Rate to take, take effect January 2nd, 2013 and all subsequent years after 2013. There shall be an automatic 3% increase to the 2012 rate which will take effect on January 1st, 2013 for each subsequent year after 2013 and increase of 3% each year shall take effect annually. This is the first reading. I uh, understand that the Public Utilities uh, Committee had a meeting on this. And I am a member of it, and I wasn't asked to be there. So I just presume that they probably figured that I would be against it. Well, uh, got a little bit to say about that. Uh, uh, just because people are moving out of Waverly and using less water and sewer is not a good reason to raise rates. A lot of people are on fixed income and hardly able to pay these bills. I believe in the old practice of saying, of staying within your budget just like you do at home when you overspend and fall short. A lot of people here in Wavy were not born with a golden spoon in their mouth like a lot of people think they are. Most of them, a lot of them are living on fixed income and barely survival. I think we should all start worrying about the city's revenue and stop spending and cutting back on spending and quit look, and looking quit looking at grants and concentrate on only the bare necessities. No hiring, no grant applications, no paving the roads, and this year and all of these would be an increase in the general fund to save us money. That's my opinion. And uh, the only other thing I have to say about it, uh, I've heard a lot of numerous people say that wonder council members itself have said wonder why people are moving out of Waverly, your surrounding areas. A lot of them are moving to Pike and out in the country. I just wonder if it's because the cost of living in Waverly and the taxes in Waverly. And uh, further, I'll say in my last statement, as I did on the other one, raise, I will not support this. That's all I have to say. Next City Council meeting will be September 6th, 7 o'clock p.m. Next Planning Commission meeting is Wednesday, September 14th, 10 o'clock a.m. Just need a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Second. I have a motion to second. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.